Assalamualaikum. Pradeshok. Live dental care. Apna the shagotham. Ebidi the apna the ramanthon janatse. Ami doctor Mohanthan Arusain. Aajke ebidi the mula to OPC X-ray ni aalo chana kora hobe. OPC ortho cha ortho pentamograph. ATT X-ray. E X-ray bebo bebo har royse dante chikisha ba dental treatment. तो ये ओपीसी एक्सरे हमरा विभिन्न काजे व्यवहार करते हैं किधर चाहिए तो जो कौन दांत मुखेर शॉप दांत एक्सरे देखते चाहिए एवं छाल ऊपर छाल एवं नीचे छाल देखते चाहिए पूरी पूरी भावे तो हम जा हमरा फुल दांत एवं छालेर एक्सरे दिए था कि जगह का बोला है ओपीसी बा ऑर्थो पेंटामोग्राम ये ऑर्थोपेंटामोग्राफ बा ओपीजी एक टी भाइटल डायग्नोस्टिक रेडियोग्राफिक टूल ऑफ डेंटिस्ट्री ये एक्सरे मानते हैं हम रखी की देखते पाएं ये एक्सरे अपना अमर हाथ एक टी ओपीजी एक्सरे देखते पाएं चंद जो दी क्लियरली देखते पाएं ताहले इखने अमी देखा थी ओपीजी एक्सरे थे अमरा ऊपर छोल Dentition बोलते हैं जाना है the form and arrangement of the teeth are called dentition. Any kinds of periapical pathology, bone rejection and the uh, orofacial pathologies uh, we can diagnose from an OPG X-ray. And the pathology pathologies must be bone related and the teeth related definitely and the muscles pathologies uh, in most cases cannot be diagnosed from an office x-ray we can see the condition of the temporomandibular joint of both side we know both temporomandibular joint moves together We can see any kinds of bony and soft tissue pathology of the temporomandibular joint from OVZ such as TM joint dislocation, any fracture and the fibrosis or ankylosis of the temporomandibular joint. Any kinds of pathology of the jaw bones the maxillary air sinuses and the nasal air passes or nostril. Here you can see the border of the maxillary air sinuses are very clear and this OPG is most clear and we can see the extent and the border of the any bony lesions of both maxilla and mandible from OPG x-ray such as Periapical pathologies are very common in human being. Any kinds of periapical pathology within the jawbone, we can see and find out and measure the extent and size from OPG X-ray. OPG, it is not accurate representative of the size and shape of our orofacial structure, such as jawbones and teeth. This is usually a rough representation of the dentition and jaw bones and orofacial structures. So, OPG X-ray theke amra shunirdishto size abong bistriti jante parena kono pathology. Periapical cyst, tumor, any kind of bony fracture and the bony lesions such as tumor cyst granuloma and other pathologies we can see from an OPG x-ray the lining of the sinuses of maxillary bones are also seen from OPG and here you can see the nostril and the Nasal, sep nasal bones and partially nasal septum are also seen here. We can uh, find out any kind of jaw fracture either it is within the 
temporal mandibular joint or in the neck, angle of the mandible or body or in the symphysis parasympysis region or in the midline of the jaw bones, both maxilla and mandible. OPZ also most useful in case of diagnosing the bone resorption as a diagnostic tool during complete denture and other dental treatment such as implant dentistry and prosthetic treatment. We can diagnose the caries and the double, uh, caries of the both deciduous and permanent dentition and we can see the developing dentition in the sile patient from OPC. OPC is also most useful in case of assessment of the growth and development of the growing patients or growing child. So, OPC is a vital tool. We can diagnose the proximal caries. We can see the proximal caries in most cases from OPC and the configuration of the root of the third molar from OPC X-ray. We can see the mandibular canal within the mandibular bone, mandible or mandibular bone through which the inferior alveolar nerve passes. During extraction of the third molar, in most uh, dangerous uh, situation, is the injury of the inferior alveolar nerve and the lingual nerve. During third molar extraction, the lingual nerve and the inferior alveolar nerve may be injured. So we can see the pathway or the position of the mandibular canal within the mandibular jaw bones before making treatment plan or surgical plan for extraction of the third molar that is the mandibular third molar. And any kind of bony lesions we can see from the OPZ X-ray. OPZ X-ray is useful both in child and young patients and older also. So we should understand the OPZ X-ray very clearly. We can see the continuation of the lamina dura in apical and periapical areas. If the continuation of the lamina dura in the apical region is intact, we can take apparent decision that there is no periapical pathology uh, present in the respective teeth. So, from OPJ X ray, we can diagnose most of the diseases of the jaw bones and the teeth also. So the correct interpretation and understanding of an OPZ is very much helpful and important for all dental surgeons. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe our channel and this be friend. Thank you.